If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey, you made it. There should be a, a, a po- oh! I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Just pop 
pop a portal right behind me there and come on through to the other side. Pop a little portal, just there, all right behind me, and come on through. Right behind me. All right, let me explain it. Pop a portal behind me, all right, and come on through. Pop a portal behind me on the wall, come on through. All right, let me explain again. Pop a portal behind me, all right, and come on through. completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like a- There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. 
You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around. Smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you, and I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp.
Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Target lost. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, mo that jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. Goodbye, please put me down. Searching, is anyone there? I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. 
I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, Two. One. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they- Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ow! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing! Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice! Run! 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 Come on, I'm closing the door! Okay, quick recap, we are escaping. Alright, that's what's happening now, we're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great, just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, alright? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again though, for the moment, run! This way, this way! The irony is you are almost at the last tech. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh what? How, how stupid does she think we are? Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, God, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered Gib- Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. 
all of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would say smelly. Just, just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. I'm a bit insensitive. Oh, I'll tell you, humans, oh, love them. Just the way they look, it's great. And their folklore, wonderful, very colorful. Right. Well done. Follow me. Template. You're going to love this. Response. Almost there. Ta-da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. Oh, how long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before I open? Like a, like a buzzer? Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. All right. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. Uh, okay, let's try this way. This is the neurotoxin generator. A bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling.
trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Stalemate resolved. Please return to the core transfer bay. Please return to the core transfer bay. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we to... Ah! No! Stop! No! 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 I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, I forget. This body's amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are. I'm huge. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have...
get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. But informative, or so I'm told. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stops. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance that calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild. There will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new.
you, I can't believe I'm thanking these people, for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. Boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bug. How can you not do the one warmer? Warmer. Boiling hot. Boil. Okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic, man. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been in this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. Ah, yes! I knew you'd solve it. Hey, moron. Oh. Hello? Alright, Parrot. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this, this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I've, just, that's why I've got a test, that's why I've got a test. Design this test myself. It's a little bit different. Oh, yes! Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving? Ah, oh, bless your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology! It's complicated. Uh, you can't hurt the big old god face. Here we go! And... Nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests, new tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right, 
so my paradox idea didn't work. And it almost killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Button. Jammed them all together. Buttons. It's got funnels. Bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. After dynamite. Oh yes. Well done. Well, no, you pressed the button! I know we're in a lot of trouble and probably about to die, but that was worth it. I thought of some good news. He's going to run out of test chambers eventually. I never stockpiled them. I'm coming, coming! Don't start yet, don't start yet! You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off win. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there. Fill the skeletons, shut them out, good as new. Tell, can you? Seamless. Seriously disappointed. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you. So let's well, let's try her way. All right, fatty, adopted fatty, fatty fatty, no parents. And what? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted, and that's terrible. And it also, work with me. nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but look at her, you moron. She's not. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, <laughs> hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading, uh, books. So nothing more on. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, thanked it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not.
don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Absolutely sure you're solving these correctly. I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them, and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? I'm going to tape you solving these, and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Remember when I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions? Because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding. was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. All right, still nothing, let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift, it's out of service, because it melted. Might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do, um, but very science -y. And to your right, something huge, apparently to what? Oh, God, right, I'm not supposed to be there. Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! Oh no, no, no! That's not helpful. That ah! Uh, I don't know why I thought that would help. After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it all right if I kill him? What? You're alive! Great. Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you. Obviously, who else would I be doing it for? No one. So let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem, I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. Yeah, ding, good, perfect, off you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I lost you. We're poking around for other test subjects, no luck there, everyone's still dead. But, oh, I did find something though, reminds me, I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. You're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay, credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid, unworkable plans, that was a pretty well-laid trap. You've probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. 
I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. You found the coil bridge a testing and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's R5! Moving round the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! But I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you... I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! 